Hi, I'm Jaro, back for the Owl House Season 2. I am very ready to see canon Amity instead of the fandom version of Amity once again. Although I love fandom and love seeing the art and everything, I feel like they kind of reduce Amity's character to just a gay joke. Just, just kind of the same. She's so flustered, she's a little tomato all the time. And that's cute, but that's not all she is. She is also a competent witch and can be terrifying and is torn between what her family wants her to be and what her inner kindness demands of her. And, and that's the Amity that I'm excited to see here again. So as much as I want this show's genre to change from comedy horror to romantic comedy whenever Luz and Amity are on screen together, I am even more excited to get back to the magic and the world and the characters being sweet to each other in like non-romantic ways. <laughs> Found family is my jam, okay? Going into this, I've seen some stuff and I'm not sure if it was spoilers or promotional images because you know, we've had a leak by now. I, I think I've seen Luz doing some kind of cool magic combining glyphs, I'm very excited for that. And I've seen Amity's mama out here with a toothpaste color scheme for her hair. So that's fun. <laughs> I, I can't help but remember Dana Terrace's AMA with the whole you can expect parental conflict, a lot of emotions, island exploration, and new characters. It spells pain. It spells pain. So yeah, I hope this new season does cool stuff with the magic and the world and the characters, and I hope that the underappreciated characters like Skara and Gus get some screen time. And last of all, I am holding my breath until Luz realizes that Amity has a crush on her. New episode now! Do not underestimate me, Garlog, for I am the good rich Luz, hunter of monsters! Call back to the first episode! You are your own idol now. Hello? <laughs> You're- This is pathetic. You're a bounty hunter. King! Drop it now. King. Drop it now. Stop eating people! Oh, what the hell? Hola, Mama. You haven't heard from me in a while. It's been a week and a half since that petrification ceremony. Oh, girl. I'm gonna study all I can and find a way back to you. I'm sad now. And look, I have friends to help me. I'm never letting you go. You're never returning to the human realm. He doesn't mean that. Yes, I do. Still doing magic? Or at least she was. Oh, man. Until her curse overpowered her and weakened oh. her magic. Oh. Check it, Luz. A new hunting weapon. I will call her the Stab Catcher. Without the portal, Ida has no human garbage to sell. So, we've resorted to working odd jobs to keep food on the table. Hey, oh. King. No! King! <laughs> this week we're bounty hunters. Your this hands! Week we could be anything. I wasn't expecting that turn. Thank you, Mama. Te lo prometo regresaré a casa pronto. Still trying to talk to her mom. Do you own anything that isn't covered in feathers? I had to deal with a curse for 30 years, so I think you can handle a few feathers. Bring it up every opportunity. The Emperor is wrong. Hold it over her head. What are you gonna do? We all know you're powerless now. That's so sad. Imagine no. <laughs> no. Don't worry, sister. At least my image still commands respect. Gonna get replaced? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're a traitor. Hey. Golden guard. He was the genius teen prodigy. But he's really just a brat. <laughs> Take on the biggest bounty we can find. It'll be great. Lose what? You're gonna die. There's something called a selkie domus. We gotta keep a low profile while my powers are weakened. This bounty hunting stuff isn't putting food on the table. Now apple blood. I spent the money on griffin eggs for loose. There's not a lot she can digest here, so I make sure to have her favorites around. She's a mom. That's rough, buddy. <gasps> Maybe it'll be better if I never came here. Mm -hmm. Can't change the past. Selkie Damas hunt. I want you. I should have more faith in her. She's doing cool stuff in the trailer. Hey, spy. Oh, it's a trap, is it? How do I look? Uh, I am quite fine. Thank you. Alright. Have fun wallowing in self pity and feeling bad for cursing me. Bye! 
I love their sibling dynamics. There's gotta be a way to make it up to her. Oh. Oh? I bet she would love a peek inside the castle. You're right, check in! How's my bestie doing? I can help! We can find out their crushes! We can give them cute couple names! What? No! <laughs> I can do this alone. And don't call me Lulu! A good friend would respect her wishes, but a better friend would help no matter what! Woody, what the hell? <laughs> we all do the work, we all get a cut. Damn. I have many deaths. Till then, keep everything ship shape. Don't be a burden, sea squirt. Um, you don't have to worry about me. Oh, that hurts. The little pirate outfit is so cute. You're using it, please? <laughs> That is really cool. <laughs> he had me confront my own biases, and I got nothing but respect for you now, squirt. <laughs> I mean, sailor. You make me feel like a real part of the crew. Well, that's because you are. Aww. <gasps> it's found family part two. Well, until their inevitable betrayal. Oh my god. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This ship belongs to the Emperor? Oh boy, I gotta tell Luce. Unfortunately, you won't have the chance. Is this guy Dana's favorite character? Okay. Remember something from the AMA. Fire bee, honey. Fire bees. Always the reminders that this is kind of literally hell. It's hell world. Is it too nice for this? Lilith. We're not We're not friends. Jesus. So does Hootie drive her back to the Emperor? You're just some kind of weird bird worm. You have no idea what I'm going through. Sorry, Lulu. I mean, sorry, Lilith. Oh. Let's try this one more time. That just exists in the woods. <laughs> Just like Liz did in the first episode. She's here. Whoa. She's okay. <laughs> so Ida and Lilith aren't on board with drawing up a bunch of glyphs yet? This is so cool. So I would guess that she is not actually a, a ghost supposed to succeed. Oh, someone's trying to steal the bounty. Honestly, that's kind of smart. She brought so many spells. I hope this guy feels bad about betraying her. Oh my god. <laughs> Ida! Disguising your tracks. Why were you? You could have gotten killed. Have a little faith in her, like I should have. Oh, what the hell? Oh, he that got the cat. Be arranged. Hello, criminals. He has such Why a bro voice. <laughs> okay. Why are you guys hunting the Selkie Damas? It's a peaceful creature, and you're provoking it. The Emperor ordered me to slay Dang. one. Well, I'm just gonna smack you around a bit. Yeah! <laughs> I leave you dangling above the boiling sea! So much personality already. No one will have to be a sailor or get arrested if one of you follows those Selkie Damas tracks and slays the beast. Here, I'll help you. Whoa, that was weird. Can Luz learn that? Go or I drown the bird. Yeah. Uh, I start now. <gasps> King! I'll do it. Luz deserves a sword. Oh, uh, you're, you're gonna die. Ooh. Don't hurt 
Not the friendship I expected. Us weirdos have to what? Stick together? Because you stuck with me, you lost your magic. Ooh. You almost got turned to stone, and now you can't even afford your apple blood because you're worried about what I need to eat. That's such a good look for Ida. It's my fault all this happened. No, it's That's an emotional one. to do this alone. I'll make it all up to you, Ida the Owl Lady. I promise. Yes, you are so confident lately. Whoa! Like, she's the team's confidence at 99%. You think throwing your life away is gonna help me? Well, it won't. You helped me find King's Crown when you barely knew me. You saved me from turning to stone and... You got me talking to my sister again. So, fortunately for you, my life is pretty great because I'm friends with Luce the Human. Yeah, there's gotta be a way out of this where no one has to get hurt. Cleverness. Activism. Do you want to learn your first glyph? Yes, do that already. It's been a week. Keep doing the magic. Oh god, that's me. You're actually weirdly endearing. No, I'm not. <laughs> Shadowboxing? Oh. <laughs> oh, that thing smells awful. Why are you touching it with your hands? Close. The Emperor is not a merciful man. Bye! <laughs> what the hell? He's too charming. This better not be setting up any love triangle. Plant beast. My first glyph. Did I do good? Yeah, you did great. You are full of paper, Luz. You need to move further out into the sea. Huh. You could talk it through. Whoa! Hot dang! <laughs> it gave you the treasure of the sea. Cash! Tuna? That's silky gris. Oh, people pay big money for it at the night market. No, you know that money, Luz. Luxuriate. <laughs> That's not what I thought it was. Luxuriate? No, 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 no! <laughs> He's so gross. He's so gross. <laughs> Don't play in it. Sell it. Who's a fur? This is so weird. These two together. Oh. What are we supposed to do with this? <laughs> They're just some dudes. Pull whatever pranks your heart desires. Pranks. Clueless without me. Who wants to get takeout and draw faces on Hootie? Yay! Oh! Yeah, I'm in. I'll protect you, Hootsifer. <laughs> Can Lose right, eat their want? takeout? Anything but secret. Crackers. We're not ordering crackers. Knock, knock, human. Oh, he has some nasty hair. He has some nasty ass hair. Okay, that. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so fast! Okay, so I was not expecting any camaraderie between Lilith and Hootie at all, but I guess they, they weren't like... They, maybe they didn't want to write that constant antagonism or something. Uh, so, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen like promotional images that cast Lilith in a sort of villainous light. So unless that's an accident, um... I don't know, maybe she goes back to the Emperor's Coven as a spy? That would be cool. I like having her around in this group. It's it's kind of fun so far. I mean, it's only been one episode. I, I don't know. I know this episode is supposed... I, I mean, I know this season is supposed to be a little emotionally harrowing, perhaps, but I... I don't like to see the odds stacked against the protagonist. Also, bounty hunters. That is such a fun, like, job choice for Luz and Ida and everyone now. And, and the part where Ida showed up on the ship to steal the cash. Oh my god. Like, I, I, while that was happening, I kind of made the connection between her saying that she wanted to go run a scam and, and somebody showing up to do something very Ida-like. But that was actually her. Oh my god. <laughs> And there are several parts where I think I may have missed 
a slight bit of dialogue. I guess I'll go back to the specific areas. So one of the lines that I guess I sort of talked over was the emperor is really taking over. So I guess we can take that to mean that he was more relaxed with things in the first season, sort of turning a blind eye to all the crime stuff Ida was getting up to. And now there's propaganda everywhere, which if that extends to the schools and stuff, this whole emperor propaganda could be an interesting element in Amity's storyline. I mean, even Willow and Gus's storyline. Also, like, looking at this, Luz almost killed the creature, I think. So I kind of wonder if that's going to be any kind of theme throughout this season, like her taking misguided actions without full knowledge. Additionally, this new antagonist is like too charming and competent, and I just know that I'm gonna be seeing nonstop thirst for him from the fandom, aren't I? He's got a cool design though. Out of him and like the Blight parents and maybe Ida and Lilith's parents, out of all the people to choose from, I wonder who's gonna be the most hateable antagonist this season. Also, it is so sweet that Luz is still trying to keep talking to her mom, at least in spirit, I guess. Overall, that was a pretty exciting and lovely new episode, and seeing Luz being just really competent with all her spells, that was incredible. And seeing her and Ida just being a family, that was really sweet as well. Overall, it was just a great start to the season. So yeah, feel free to subscribe, and I will see you next week.